There's your answer, Summerfield. Hawksburg isn't a despot politician who got a little trigger happy. He's not even Oliver Hawksburg. He's death itself. Fleming, disconnect those cables. Fleming! Stop, Summerfield. He's gone. I'll disconnect the last cable. Oh, Fleming. I'm so sorry. Is that the doctor? Come, Time Lord. I demand your undivided attention. It would be a pleasure to kill you twice over. I gather your Heston's to report means the Cybermen were not successful. Correct. Cyber assault team eradicated by the Eco Troops. Assisted by another incarnation of the Doctor. They're converging on this reality. One Doctor we can deal with. Two or more, maybe a handful. Where is he now? The fourth generation. He has followed the time track to 1936. He will uncover your truth. We must stop him. I can feel new memories forming. He is in the cat tombs with me. At the start of this all. My rebirth. A Dalek squadron would be sufficient to exterminate all resistance. Deploy them. I must prepare for this evening's banquet. Are we prepared for the incursion? Sleeper divisions have been primed in primary locations around the globe. They will be activated at your command. And the DNA module? Operating at 100% efficiency. The Doctor's memory data is linked directly into the control unit. We cannot afford to let this opportunity be compromised by the Doctor. The Earth will pay the price for its environmental incompetence. They do not deserve to see another sunrise. My, my, my. What a tale you've told me, my dear Ace. I'm not sure what exactly I can do to help. Look, we just need to get out of here. We're trying to get to Earth, 1999. Well, a short hop in the TARDIS will see to that. Come along. How did you end up here, anyway? Pure chance. The TARDIS was pulled sideways into this dimension as it left Gallifrey in my reality. It didn't move from its place in the universe thanks to the Time Lord's transduction barrier. They granted me passage back home to our universe on the understanding that I would assist with some legal proceedings here first. I thought you were wicked up there, Professor. You really gave it to those big green lads. Yes, uh, quite. Well, how come you recognise me, anyway? Ah, that is something for you to find out, Ace. I dare not divulge your future. But if I were to give you a tip, don't try the carrot juice in the Queen Victoria. They tend not to pay attention to the sell-by date in there. Right. Here we go. In you all pop. Welcome to the beginning of the end, Doctor. I don't think much of finality. It's better to leave the ink wet. There's always a chance to change the outcome. Make an assessment, Doctor. What do you see before you? I saw a great mind. An inquiring individual consumed with intrigue and a scientific curiosity. Oliver Hawkespur was an inquiring fellow. As part of the local council, he investigated reports of an illegal construction project in this church crypt. An insurance policy placed here and on every world since the creation of this reality. Should I need a period of rejuvenation, the creature within this body hibernates inside of the casket. Hawkespur took a rudimentary understanding of electrical currents and, under hypnosis, facilitated my rebirth. So your arrival from the future necessitated a period of incubation, hence the cocoon. The late Mr. Hawkespur came across it and was consumed with a childlike predilection. He rigged the structure of the church to act as a conductor and stirred the energy you're composed of into life. Remarkable. I rather think he was, yes. So what's your story? Why here? Why Earth? I see the fragility of the world, Doctor. 
Of the countless planets in this galaxy, I see the damage humanity has caused and will cause in the future. They do not deserve this planet. I shall take away their opportunity to save it. And who exactly appointed you, Judge, Jury, and Town Planner? It is my reason for being Time Lord. An Inquisitor, ruling over a cosmos decimating life if it shows signs of overindulgence and destruction of their natural-born gifts. Mankind's thirst for overconsumption is a tendency built into their very being, Doctor. From carving the first stick to the Industrial Revolution, they have taken and drained the natural resources sainted upon them by nature itself. They do not deserve the bountiful pleasures of this environment. They have the ability to change, Hawksburg. That is the human condition you cannot take away. I implore you not to cast aspirations on their indecision now. Too late, Time Lord. They cannot relinquish themselves of greed and corruption. My intentions are malevolent, but my actions will prevent a slow and painful realization that the human race was doomed from the moment it stepped out of the oceans and evolved into all the creatures of passivity they become. Doctor, there's something coming. Done the way that we came in. Doctor! Ah, hello there. How terrible to see you again. How quaint. A visit from the future, I assume. What are they? Daleks, my greatest enemies. Where do you tin dustbins come into all of this? Residual metadata from your seventh incarnation was consumed and collated from 2025. We are echoes of experiences made flesh by Hawkspur's ingenuity. Quite remarkable, Hawkspur. Your future industrialization methods can physically reproduce the historical traces in my mind. It is a neat trick, isn't it? You know, that gives me an idea. How many times have you saved this planet from aliens and bug-eyed monsters? No offense to our present company. Fifty, a hundred, a thousand times. I expect you've lost count. But the point is that you beat all of them. But could you beat them all at once? You wouldn't. Oh, I would. These Daleks could be just the start. Imagine Cybermen in the sewers, Yetis on the underground, Autons on the high street. Every adversary you've ever faced will achieve together that which they could not achieve alone. The total extermination of the human race. And speaking of... Go on, lads. Make future me proud. Exterminate. Exterminate. Exterminate the doctor. <laughs> Come on, run! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan. I usually find running around corridors getting shot at sparks the imagination. These things are going to bring the whole place down on us. What a splendid idea. What? Quick, down this way. The brickwork seems particularly delicate, wouldn't you say? Are you being serious? Not if I can help it. But if we let those Daleks catch up with us just a little more... Here they come. You stand behind that support column, and I'll stay behind this one. Then what? When I give the word, we jump out, switch places, and avoid being shot. Hopefully they'll miss us and hit the supports. <laughs> you forgot. Don't get crushed by falling rubble. Ha! Oh yes, that too. Right, here they come. Exterminate. Just a bit more. Seek. Locate. Destroy. Now, Summerfield. Hello, Daleks. The Doctor is located. Exterminate! 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 Well done, Summerfield. Wait, there's not a speck of dust on you. How did you... Oh, it's nothing really. All a matter of timing. Come on, no time to dilly-dally. We've got to get to 1999. And how do you propose to do that? You heard Hawkspur. Those Daleks were from his future. That means they got here somehow. Probably a time corridor. What about Hawkspur? I mean, the Hawkspur that was here. Oh, he's probably long gone by now, trying to get his plans into motion. That's the trouble with megalomaniacs. They never stick around to see if a job gets done. Now, I'm not sure how much assistance I can provide you when we arrive. If this truly is my future, I'm likely to imbalance the timelines by interfering. So you're going to hightail it as soon as we land? Ace, 
this is not my battle to fight. This isn't even my, our universe. Any neglect on my part to engage with aspects of this reality could cause a complete collapse in the fabric of this dimension. I'm leaving this in your very capable hands. Just don't get too trigger happy with those nasty explosives of yours. Use them sparingly. Save them for the moments that count. Thanks, Professor. And kindly refrain from referring to me by that ludicrous synonym. Your doctor may come to tolerate it, but I'm afraid I have a slightly shorter fuse than he. Right. Earth, Sussex, November 23rd, 1999. There's an abundance of temporal activity here, and I'll state my well-earned reputation that this Hawkspur will be up to his nefarious schemes here and now. All right, Devish. Load up. And my warning about going bananas with any weaponry applies to you two as well. Just because this isn't my universe doesn't mean I want any lives expended unnecessarily. Look, with all due respect, Doctor... I think the respect I deserve lies with that response being left unsaid. Don't you agree? Now off you pop, before I change my mind. Ace. Yes, Doctor? Whatever happens out there, and I don't mean to heap too much pressure or expectation into your more than capable hands, whatever happens out there dictates the course of existence in this reality and possibly countless others. The fate, the very fate of creation lies in the decisions you make today. Rely on instinct, but not your cavalier attitude towards self-sacrifice. I can tell I'll need you in the future. Understand? Of course, Doctor. Thanks. And don't worry, everything turns out fine in the end. I'm going to need you a lot more than you'll need me. Oh, I wouldn't count on it. Now go. Okay, where now? That's it. That's the house. But all of this started. It's huge! Hawkspur's estate. Tonight he holds a banquet for the assembled heads of state and the world's media and unleashes hell. So where do we start? The back door. We'll sneak in and assassinate Hawkspur before he can make his address. Hold! Or you will be destroyed! Cybermen! Come on, run! You can grieve later. Let's move. Shaking them off. Look, through that door. Waiters and a kitchen. Hey, what if we nick some uniforms and snuck in? We could get right up to Hawkspur and sort this all out. Too risky. I'll go then. You sure? Yeah, I've done this kind of thing before. Spent a weekend at Wimbledon serving drinks in the raw box. Didn't think much of it, or them to be honest. Some of them were a bit handsy. Right, you try and get in. I'll try and find another way. Good luck. Oi! You in the apron! Sorry I'm late. Late? You're working with us tonight? Yeah. Had to get the bus over. Accident on the high street or something. Where do I change? The guests are ready, Mr Hawksby. I've asked that no one disturbs you before your speech. Everyone's assembled in the dining room. Sir? Time. Time swirling around me. Is everything okay, sir? The doctors escaped from the past, from 1936. He's coming here. There's a squad of Cybermen patrolling the grounds. Obviously out of sight from the public, sir. They'll kill anyone who tries to get in. Perhaps this was a mistake. Sir? The grand staging of our scheme. Would it not have been more efficient to begin the incursion without these festivities? Maybe a more hands-on approach would have saved time, sir. (laughs) You're beginning to sound like one of them. (laughs) Them? The Cybermen. At least they have the efficiency of direct logic, Mr. Swift. They are the ultimate in cold reason. They collate their plans to the finest detail and execute them. Any weak links are swiftly dealt with. Sir, please, put the gun down. Why didn't you convince me otherwise, Swift? Why didn't you see that with enough rope, the doctor would hang us with it? I... 
It was your plan, sir. It was his plan, Swift. The force inside of me. And he isn't very happy. Mr. Hawksburg, please, put the gun down. We can regroup. Plan again. All right, Swift. Adding a gun into the mix overcomplicates this. I... <laughs> I agree, sir. Come to me. Let's shake hands and reassess the situation. Absolutely, sir. I'll follow your advice. A more hands-on approach. <laughs> Please, sir. I, I can't breathe. And I can't stand insolence. I surround myself with yes-men and played politician with those fat, red-eyed buffoons in the cabinet. Sir! It's killed me to see them walk into the world they polluted with their skin still tied to their bodies. I would have skinned and scalped every last one of them if I didn't have to ingratiate myself within this regretful world. Please! You would see your own people burn, Swift. You spineless fool. I won't give you the pleasure. <laughs> Look at my cuffs, Swift. I'll have to iron them out now. Yuck. I don't make much of the uniform. Then don't. Just smile, offer the guests a vol -vent, and be invisible. Identify. What? What are you doing here? My function is unimportant. You are not registered among the staff for tonight's event. Identify yourself or you will be ejected from the venue. Um, Swift! Taylor Swift! Oh, you're related to Mr. Hawksburg's assistant then? Yep, that's right. I'm their niece. Three times removed. I will assess your response with the relevant parties. You will wait here. Oh, I can't believe it. I know. Terrible, isn't it? What do you mean? Do you know what they are? I have a pretty good idea. We've got to stop them then. Absolutely. Typical Tories, they automate everything and take away jobs from us working people. That thing will be the metro D of this place before long. The required administrator was not available to confirm your identity. I must ask you to leave. I can vouch for her. She'll stick to me like a bad smell. I'll show her the ropes, yeah? You are not facilitated to command the... Very well. You will accompany Taylor Swift to the dining room. She must be observed constantly. Obey. 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 I don't think they'll get very far in the service industry with attitudes like that, will they? Come on, the reception's about to start. Nasty way to travel. I think my hair's on cold. Are there any Daleks about? None that I can see. They tend to stick out like a sore thumb, you know? Ah. What a machine! Ingenious! A complete closed circuit relay station. Now what's this? That looks like a map of the world. It is. With icons hovering over every major city in the world. Paris, New York, Hong Kong, Melbourne, Auckland. This is rather worrying. Something to do with Hawksworth's plan? Undoubtedly. Ah! What is it? They're sleeper cells. Oh. Goddess. A contingent of my greatest enemies, dispersed in high-value locations over the globe, waiting for a call to action. Can't you hack into it? Call off the attack? The relay device isn't here. The banquet! Hawks for speech, he's going to activate the incursion from his estate. Wait, what's that? Hmm? Over there in the far corner, it looks like a fish tank. Oh, that's not good. W what? That's not a fish tank, Summerfield. This is what Hawksburg was talking about in the catacombs. A copy of my cerebral DNA feeding into the control bank here. This is where the Daleks and the Cybermen are coming from. <laughs> well, let's blow it up! With what? That laser rifle wouldn't make a dent. It needs a more powerful blast. A Dalek gun, then? It would make mincemeat of that thing. Come on, let's go! We could find one at Hawksburg's estate. No, not you two. I sent Fleming to his death and I'm not doing the same to you. 
Somebody needs to stay here and keep an eye on the sleeper station. I am going to the estate, Doctor. I want to kill Hawksburn himself for everything he's done, or will do to this planet. There's no time to argue, Summerfield. Stay here and... Oh dear. Spot of bother, eh? Part 3 of Doctor Who Dark Dimension is on next Saturday the 6th of February at the same time of 7pm.